everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today is quite an interesting intro but yeah I'm under time constraints, I'm excited, I'm getting new point shoes today. Not only am I getting new point shoes but I'm actually getting my first pair of gaming mindens ever. I've got to say I'm excited but I'm also super nervous because I've never danced in them before but I am looking forward to my point shoes lasting way longer. So that is awesome! So let us go! Okay, so I have just arrived at the Dance Boutique in Bedford View and I'm going to see, hopefully they have my size and everything. We'll see now. <sighs> Take my glasses off so they don't fog up in there. <laughs> These jolly masks. Running games. Alright. Let's go in! Oh, that's even more tight. Oh, and they don't have a, they do have a left and right compared to other. Oh, really? Other oh, the string comes inside. Okay. Inside, okay. This one, they don't stretch. They have permanent space. So if they're like this, they are tight. Yeah, this is very tight. Yeah, they have very tight space because they don't stretch. Yeah. Oh, they are such beautiful shoes. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. beautiful. Oh, that's so beautiful. Oh, my goodness. They look okay. Let's try this pair. No, the hard back is actually very nice. She's been such a good cameraman. <laughs> 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 what are you talking about? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that would be nice. I prefer this one. It's singing, but not compared to this other thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that is minty. Yeah. Do you see that? That's too soft. Okay. That's too soft. We'll go over more. Mm. Yeah. Uh, the so the back will never soften. Yeah. yeah. You really want to have that movement of the through the denny point now mm. so that's the only thing that's concerning me now when you go down they're supposed to develop the foot but what happens is as you're rolling down it wants to spring back up yes, again yeah. so it forces you to roll and then it so, mm. go back in that same position done isn't it? Done. Yeah. yes yeah yeah done uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was coming bye <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is the green bag hard back I'm not sure now. <laughs> Grishka versus the Kendall Minden. What I'll do is when I get back to my hometown, I'm right now in Johannesburg, then I will show them to you properly. So that'll be obviously in the next slide. Montage. Who else would do this? Keep their toe caps and their point shoes. Okay, these are in my defense, these are brand new. In their um, hand luggage where they can keep an eye and make sure nothing happens to it. Me! Four to six days later. Guys, I am back in my studio 
and I've got my point shoes here. So let us unpack them, shall we? This is the stiff shank. I didn't go with the green bag, which is the very stiff bag, because I was worried about the roll through not being good enough. And you know, when you try on point shoes at a point shoe fitting, it's not really respectful, in my opinion, to just go rolling through the shoes because you might not take them, someone else will take them, and then you've gone in rolled in them so you know, I don't like to do that. So you've got the five different bag colors in the Gaynor Minden shoes. You have the green bag which is the hard bag which is very stiff. Then you have the extra flex which is, which is the yellow bag and that's the one that I've got. It's just a stiff bag. Then we have the supple bag which is the pink bag and that's like a medium stiffness of the shank. Then we have the feather one which is in the blue bag and that is a softer bag and then the pianissimo which is the purple bag and that is extremely flexible in that. I think it's like they say it's like an hour from breaking. Anyway, so that being said, I decided to go with the stiff bag because I have got very high arches in that and you'll see when I roll up onto points that my feet will tend to go right over. I'll actually insert a clip of the point shoe fitting that I have where I've got the Gaynor Minden on one side and my old point shoe which is very crusty and old and the other shoe and you can see how much I'm actually rolling over onto the toes. So the reason why I didn't go with a very hard bag, which is something I was considering, is because I was just concerned about not having enough movement going down on the roll through because they're quite stiff. If you look here, you'll see that they're flexible this way and then this way, to bend them this way, is a little bit more of a challenge. So this is definitely going to strengthen the feet with the roll through, which is great. The yellow bag actually has the same color plastic, I guess you could call it, that's inside the shoe. So it comes across here and then down here. With regards to the ribbons, I decided not to go with the elastic ribbon because in my opinion, I feel like elastic will stretch over time and lose its stretchiness so i've got the regular satin ribbons here well, it's like a satin and also i don't have a problem with sewing the regular ribbon on because the way that i tie my point shoes is super quick i mean it's like under 30 seconds per shoe so if you want to know how to do that and you've got regular ribbons like that then please go check out this video i show you my way of how to do it really quickly easily and also once it's done it looks like there's no join in the ribbon at all it is quite beautiful. And then I just want to say as well that these Gaynor Mindens, they were originally made in America, uh, but now they've started manufacturing them in Europe. So the American ones had the darker satin, whereas these are now the European ones. The great to tell that is that the satin is a bit lighter. Yeah, and the satin actually matches almost perfectly with the ribbon. I mean, look how beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to now go and sew these ribbons on, and then I'm going to come back and show you what they look like. See you guys now. now. Several days later. Okay, so guys, it is a couple of days later. Obviously, my hair is curly now. The straight hair is gone. And boy, do I feel stupid. Remember when I was saying... The ribbons, I decided not to go with the elastic ribbon. Because in my opinion, I feel like elastic will stretch over time and lose its stretchiness. So then you might have to end up stitching it down all the time to tighten it, which I'm not going to do that. Yeah, it turns out I figured out why one should have elasticized ribbon. Because I stitched my ribbons on ever so nicely. And then while I was busy dancing in the point shoes, the uh, ribbon kind of snapped off of point shoe. Not too badly, I mean it's repairable, but it's just I uh, understand the reason why they use elasticated ribbon. So if I, for future reference, anyone watching this, please do yourselves a favor, get the elasticated ribbon, not the stiff one. Thank you so much. Now you can see that it has definitely been a couple of days because I have worn the shoes they are dirty, they have been used a couple of times and I want to tell you they are Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. These are literally the most comfortable pair of point shoes I have ever had. Now I understand and I get the whole concept of, you know, you must earn your rights to be in point shoes and I, f I fully agree with that. But I've been doing ballet my whole life. So I think I've earned the right to have shoes that don't cause so much pain. And I'm flipping excited because they are gonna last so much longer. So watch this space. Keep in touch with what I'm doing on Instagram. Hashtag go follow me. Uh, yeah, and then you can see how long they last and all the contents I'm going to put out there about them. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put them on and then you can see them in 
collection. Okay, so here they are. They are beautiful and gorgeous. I love how they support the feet. My feet really do go over a lot. I could have probably done with a green back, with a very stiff back, but I was concerned about this. I'll show you now. That. Which is actually not too bad. So this is actually what I was doing when I jolly well snapped the ribbon off of the point shoe. But as you can see, I've tied the ribbons on better and I've added on a bit of elastic there onto that shoe. So I'm very excited. These are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful shoes. And yeah, coming from someone who's taught ballet for a number of years, who's done ballet since she was three years old, these are definitely a win and a must, especially if you've paid your dues in point shoes that kill your feet. I just want to tell you that I don't do proper ballet lessons anymore. I literally dance for myself and everything. So I definitely have to work. Sorry, I'm a bit out of breath. <laughs> I definitely have to work on my ankle strength, which I'm going to be working on now thanks to having proper shoes. I'm so excited about that, but I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then please be sure to subscribe, hit the like button, also go ahead and follow me on Instagram, I'm on my personal page or on my ballet page. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!